I heard uh, Shirley wants a. Yeah, wants a, Gary told me to hang out for some reason. Hey, Shirley, come in. All right. No, no, no. He wants to confront Cabby again? I think yeah. this is part of uh, Shirley's last day. This is the... I made it more entertaining yesterday. I did my job. This is where Shirley has a staff revelation, I oh, guess. Okay. Oh, nice. A staff revelation. About Cabby. But see, I'm not actually part of the staff, so that would be like like when they say interview celebrity and someone just interviews you. I mean, right. you're a celebrity, but you didn't go out and... Like, didn't you get Jackie Mason? Yes, I did. That's a celebrity. He Thank went you. out and got Jackie Mason. Who Shirley. Uh, I actually got a whole bunch of interviews. I got Stevie Van Zant. I got uh, uh, what? Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. See now now. Surely, what? what is it that you now what? Surely, <laughs> what is it you? What is this? Well, yesterday after uh, my our little run in, Cabby and I had. Uh, By the way, you can read all about that on HowardStern.com. And on HowardStern.com, there is now a countdown so that we'll know when the contract is over. That's great. <laughs> oh good. Okay. Yeah, there's a clicker that clicks off how many minutes, hours of minutes. Right. Click the atomic yeah. clock. That's yeah. Great. It's like an atomic clock. You're, you're, your site is looking better and better every day. We got some big things coming up. Big things. Like now you click on the picture, instead of just a little picture coming up, comes up full size. Yeah, you know that costs money? <laughs> Are you serious? Everything costs yeah. money? It's bandwidth. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah, and I don't have any sponsors or anything. And not that, not, hey, I got three three big sponsors that, like, already said to me, we want to just sponsor the whole website and be right. exclusive, but I don't even know that I want to do that. But um, I'll I tell you what. Everything is money, so you know you go. Hey, I wanted. To, why can't we just click on it, and make the picture bigger? They go, because you've got eight million people a, a day on that thing, and when they all click in, somehow it blows up the bandwidth or something. I mean, I don't understand it all. I thought you just bought a domain name for twenty bucks and you had a website. No, dude, it's crazy. So yeah. I mean, you can do that, right? But, but you, you know, want, then everyone would be bitching. If you want to store stuff on, if you want to put like audio and video and stuff, you need larger bandwidth. Yeah, like I was gonna put up, um, like, uh, who was it that interviewed me? The other day, uh, Chauncey. Yeah. I would have put the audio up. Forgettable he is, Chauncey. No, I just can't remember. I put the, you know, you put the audio up there. It's like you gotta. You That's gotta, more money. You gotta get. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta. Yeah. It costs too much money. So what I'm gonna do is, I've got an idea how money can be generated by the website, and then I can unravel my big plan for mm -hmm. the website. My master plan. My master plan. <laughs> I have one complaint about your website. Go Sometimes ahead. you click on the stories, right, and it sends you to the New York Times or the Chicago Sun Times, and you have to register. I, don't I want, know because when I register with those people, I know I'm going to get a ton of junk mail from them. I know, but there's no way around it because we can't just publish the article because we're not the authors of it. Okay, well, it's I, their I, material. I guess if I, to me, when you say publish, I would think you were putting it out in print. No, you, in you other words, to, think about it. You have to. Even it's the New York Times credit. No, can't do it. Wow, you think it's fair though? It's, Why do you it's, think they do it? And it's good they get you know they get people coming to their site. It's fair. I mean, I guess. you know, they went they hired some reporter to go do the story, and now we're linking to it. I mean, I'm registered mm -hmm. with the New York Times now, and I, I would mm -hmm. never. I can't read that. That's too much. <laughs> There's a couple of good stories on I know there. No limitations. There's a couple of good stories on there this morning. One about stem cell research, and there's a couple about Bush, and then there's and there's a. Uh, what the Did on? you see that picture of him Let's getting see. his honorary doctorate? That stupid look he has on. We his have face? that on there on HowardStern.com. Oh. Wait, we got all that stuff. Uh, wait a second. Damn. Hmm. Let me see what we got. I don't know. I just noticed a lot of good stuff on there. So many articles every day, probably. Coming out. Yeah, I know. I was reading some junk on there today, and I was like, wow, I should tell people about that. And then I sent myself a memo, and I sent myself so many memos that when I want something, I can't find it. You have the most efficient system. <laughs> and what am I going to do? I, mean, I, I can't go through all these pieces of paper. You're literally like in a foxhole here at the studio. Like you're just, there's stuff piled up all around you. Uh, I should just read these. Benji's calf is on the website. Oh, yeah, there's a, a comparison of my leg to Benji's leg. There's good news. Because Benji made an issue that he has nicer legs than me. Than from, anybody. From the knees down. Which, right. by the way, I received a lot of email that, you know, me comparing my legs to Benji's gay, and they're right. I don't want to be caught up in that. But that's, you know, Benji's bit. Yeah, that's Benji's gay bit. 
Well, oh, there it know. is. There you can see on the. Uh, <laughs> clearly, I have the nicer leg, don't I? Yeah, yours is more. His is like a chunky. It's disturbing. Fat. You know what? I give the nod to you there, but Benji's doesn't look that horrid right there. Right. I don't think it's well, that. But once you get past the knee and go up, it gets worse. Well, so, Benji's so. doesn't look human. <laughs> it looks odd. <laughs> That's what I meant. Inhuman. You know, and you can call me as gay as you want, but dude, you're gay. gay. Hang on. Okay, I'm gay, <laughs> but you know what? Your bit was to get Benji naked. Now, to me, that's pretty freaking gay. I'm sorry. That's gay. All right. All right, Shirley. Thank you. So, Shirley, um, now what is this? You, you're you going to have a staff revelation. Yeah, yesterday after the thing with Cabby and I, you know, uh, I had a, d a number of different people come up to me with a story about Cabby. Uh, now, I don't work here, so I'm not... And, neither, and I don't work for the Howard Stern Show, so your staff revelation... It's supposed to be about someone from the show, not from me. Wait, 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 but you're wait, on the show. Yeah, wait till I tell the story and then deny everything, all right? All right. Oh, I'm not denying. I'm just saying. Like, right. follow the rules. <laughs> Mr. Rule Breaker himself. Yeah, what did you hear about Cabby? Okay, you can hear, I feel okay. right. well, Tell so, us what you heard about Cabby, and then Cabby, you tell us if it's true or not. So, I, I'm not sure, uh, the amount, maybe like three or four years ago when you had that relapse, when you had to go into rehab again. You mean when he was in crack again? Right. All right. Okay. Uh, right before he went into rehab, I was told that there were 100 Pearl Jam tickets that came up missing here at the station. Okay. Yeah, and, I remember that. Okay. And uh, basically what happened was the detectives were called in. They 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 knew which seats were were being given out through the station. Right. So they went down to the concert and they were pulling people out of the seats and asking them where they got their tickets from. Now the people no, none of the people said they got it from Cabby, but they said that they got it from a scalper, a broker. Now the detective said that's definitely an inside job from here, and the person just sold the tickets to the broker to get quick cash, and the broker scalped all the tickets off. Now I've been approached by three different people who. You know, if they want to come in and talk about it, they can. I'm not going to name any names. Right. But they, all three people, and they came to me at different times, all have heard rumors that it was Cabby that sold. Right. Well, I, yeah, the, the rumor was that I did this. Right. And like you said, they did an investigation. Right. And nothing came of it. I mean, if I did it, I wouldn't still be working here. I don't have keys to offices. Someone got into an office that was unlocked. And stole some tickets. So you and I was accused. For I was accused. <laughs> I know this. I, I have That's no funny. problem. You know what? I, the way his eyes are dancing around now. No, <laughs> like, you, know what? you know what? It's just funny, though, because uh, whatever. Get Tom C in here. Like get, Tom, get Tom C in here. He, so how did they do the investigation? Like, did the cops see I don't it? know. No one, you know what? I, right. I got talked to by Steve Kingston. Right. I got talked to by Tom. They asked me straight out if I did it. And at one point they said, oh, we, we know you did it. And I'm like, well, if, <laughs> if you know I did it, and because I, I think Steve Kingston put it, we have you on camera doing it. Right. And I was like, well, if you have me on camera doing it. Why do you need to interview me? Exactly. Show me I did it. Fire me. And <laughs> Why did you beat here. us up? And I thought Kingston was a smart guy. Well, he was probably trying to get you to rat on yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you and know wait what? A, wait a second. Yeah. You got me on camera. You know I wasn't what? wearing a blue shirt. You got to get up pretty early to get one over on me. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a thief. <laughs> the guy who sold me the ticket kept calling me jackal neck. <laughs> Kingston's not going to be a New York City police detective, that's yeah. for sure. That was yeah. a bad move. Yeah, we had you on <laughs> yeah. tape. I yeah. actually kind of laughed when he said that. I'm like, well, let's watch it. I'd love to see me on tape yeah. rifling through someone's desk. And then, desk then there's like a bad was. body double for Cabby and some makeup tape. <laughs> Yeah, they should have just fudged it. It's like the 911. It's funny. TV would crack. You know, my reputation is important to me and stuff, so like, there's never even a doubt that like they know I didn't steal the <laughs> right. tickets. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what it's like to live a life where you're the first suspect. <laughs> oh, well, I was, too. I was kind of the first or the, or the, or the, I get it. I mean, you were a crack addict. Yeah. Or they utter, they utter the phrase, we know you did it. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't have any evidence, but we just know you did it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, your staff secret, I mean, that's that's a good one. But Old news, right? Yeah, it's, it's right. old news. I mean, you can get Tom C. in here. I'm sure he'll come in and clear everything up for you. Tom C.'s a little upset at me from yesterday. Why? I guess because they dumped me again. Because I, I, when Benji was naked, I said something about the medical story that you oh, were discussing. Yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. You guys were getting dumped left and well, right yesterday. Well, when he came out of the station, when he came I'm out of the studio. I'm almost done here. In fact, I'm so busy putting together my next big plan for my career. I, well, I, he was walking out, and I just wanted to ask him. I had him. a great meeting yesterday. Yeah? You know, I can't discuss, like, contracts and salaries and all that kind of stuff because I'm under contract here, but uh, uh, I've got I've got a brilliant plan that I will unravel. Nice. For the future of America Love that. and the way we all function. Hail to the chief. 
it's a it's a new world coming soon. Oh. Now, is it going to be when you say a new world? Is it going to be a new broadcast world? Can you go far as far as to say that? I said it will be a new world, Kevin. <laughs> All right. I'm and I still believe you stole the hundred tickets. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. Now you're trying to rifle Howard's mind to steal an idea. Right. <laughs> you want to buy? You want to buy some Pearl Jam tickets? <laughs> That's old news. Talk about the hundred Incubus tickets. <laughs> <laughs> why? Don't you still think he's the guy who stole them? Absolutely. Right. I'm me like, too. Why? Of course he did. There's why? no doubt in my mind. They never found out who stole them. See, now that's sad. You guys are just... Yeah. Like, that's, mean, but that's you. I thought we were friends. No, I'm not a thief, though. I'm no. a lot of things. Friend. I'm a gay, fat crackhead, right. but I'm not a thief. <laughs> no, at least you draw the line somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I have my limitations. I think if 100 tickets were left somewhere, you would grab them. No? No, because it wasn't that they were left. It was someone got into an office. Broke in. Right. Yeah. Not even broken. Used a key. Wow. So as someone who had a key... You have an awful lot of information. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, I, I would be interrogated by many people. <laughs> he thing. got more information than the people questioning him. Explain exactly what you... I mean, what the person <laughs> did. <laughs> and I wore rubber... I mean, he wore rubber... <laughs> <laughs> Someone used a key, tripped over the computer, <laughs> got up, moved the couch, got to the safe, all high on crack, took the 100 Pearl Jam tickets, went down to some bar, had a beer, $60. <laughs> you know what? I, it's, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm, uh, at heart, I'm a nice guy. I don't like throwing people under the bus. You know, well, it's you not really my... didn't throw me under the bus because, well, I mean, that's four years old. And... Well, I, I mean, I got, you know, other I, stuff. I haven't too. done drugs. And, you have you other know. stuff on Cabby? Yeah, I wasn't going to bring it up. Really. You have other stuff on Cabby? Yeah. Oh. Well, I know for a fact it's something he doesn't want brought up again today. Uh, you know what? I'll bring it up for you. The whole girlfriend pictures on the Internet thing. You know, I don't need my girlfriend's mother calling me every day. Saying, so why do you post the pictures? It's dude, not my fault. I'm, uh, listen, I'm, I'm bringing it up. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It wasn't my girlfriend. I didn't post pictures of my girlfriend. Dude, we can we can, we can can discuss it. I've seen those naked pictures of your girlfriend. But, no, the pictures I sent you weren't absolutely, positively what the pictures that are purported of my girlfriend floating around the Internet. Can I, can I hand you? this to you and you tell me if you've seen these pictures? Let me see. This is what you found on the Internet? This is I, what I, was I wanna, mailed I, to me. Can I come over and look, too? Yeah, I've seen Let me see if these are the same ones I've seen. Can we all look? Yeah. Well, I de I've seen that one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what else? That, and that's not her. So, I haven't seen this one, but I saw that one. Well, I can tell you that it those, is kind of the same thing. That those two were attached with two other pictures that that weren't nude shots, and that they were with people. And <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, also at one point, remember this? Remember yeah. uh, Joey? What's his name? Joey Boots? Yeah. Right. He at one point hacked my email account and got a bunch of pictures, personal stuff from me, and posted them on the web <laughs> with various, you know, artist renditions. Joey Boots, that genius? Yeah. I mean, Joey Boots is such a computer genius, he hacked into your yeah. home computer. Jo yeah, was, Joey Boots looked like a Unabomber. <laughs> Joey Boots looked like a mountain man Unabomber, uh, and he's hacking into people's computers. He's hacking into Cavie's yeah. computer, and then he posted it. Yeah, well, he, he got my decided, password. You know, he had like, this oh, incredible genius, genius and he decided my... he was going to attack Cavie's computer. <laughs> Joey Boots. Figured out your password, yeah. hacked into your home computer, oh, stole hotmail. the naked pictures of your girlfriend, and posted them on no, the I'm internet. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. It's like, what story is better, that or when Rodman had two women in his bed, said they fell from the ceiling? I'd go with Rodman. Yeah. But go Close. ahead, yes. No. Joey Boots. <laughs> This was years ago. He hacked into my uh, email account. Criminal. And since then, what has he done? Nothing. <laughs> exactly. I don't know how he figured out my password. It was three. <laughs> <laughs> it's comedy. I'm going to you from Shuley. <laughs> I'm laughing. Thank yeah. you. All right. You guys are good together. Maybe Thanks, we can both get Let's do stuff. the show together. I'm you great. You want to right? you you tell me? I'll be there, man. <laughs> All right. You anyway, can, you can just call me fat and gay the whole time, and we'll <laughs> you have a show. Yeah. And you can agree. <laughs> Maybe you guys will be part of the I'll, future. I'll staple naked pictures of my girlfriend in my face and run around stage and scream like a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> like I made it all up or something. You yelled at me like I made everything up. Well, hey, you know what? Like I said, dude, I made you more entertaining this week. No, and you, I you made yourself you, more sad. I made you entertaining. You understand actually, that? That's no. the difference. All right, no. There's a lot of people on the phones, you guys, so I have to take a break and get the show going. I also have a huge show for you. When I unveil today's show... You'll be very impressed. 
So, yes, Julie. I, I want to I wanna just thank you guys for this weekend. I'd like to ask, if possible, if I could sit in on the newsletter to end my last day here. Well, maybe possible. that's possible. Okay. Let, let, let's talk about that. Right, that right. sounds like a good idea. Right. And uh, for anyone who's interested, some Hoobastank tickets <laughs> fell in my lap. No, and, I would, and I would like to say, you know, no hard feelings with Cabby. I'll, you know, I'd like to shake his hand afterwards. Just don't steal my watch. Don't get all Don Rickles on. Can I punch him in the throat? That's all I want to do for the show. <laughs> all right, we'll be back right after these words. 